So the rules for this challenge are on screen right now. Pause if you need to. There's also a link in the description below to all the challenges I've done in case you want to see what I've done or if you want to do things yourself or if you want to request a challenge and try to get into my mind and how to build things or if you want to make a hard ch harder challenge, uh, I can give you some ideas as we switch back just to show you that I've set things uh, as much as I can. Of course, I still have to set the difficulty. And uh, I'm gonna treat, for myself, I'm gonna treat it as if my backstory and character are random. I use the random generator outside of this recording, but you just have to take me at my word uh, when I say that. Because there's no way for you, the viewer, to know for sure. But uh, we're doing character exclusive Ayaka scars for this uh, challenge that was requested by someone. And I've also messed up this recording a few times now because of both uh, challenge issues and uh, technical issues. So I'm pausing right there to give myself a timestamp for YouTube, but otherwise, um, this video, I'll talk about the challenge in a moment. Let me just do my uh, normal before game strategy as I look at the lighthouse and uh, the cupboard and bathroom. So charisma, knowledge, light, ah, my foot, uh, <laughs> Takashi, strength, and maybe second encounter. Um, I'm mainly looking at these two as Aika. I'm not looking to pass any others unless I get one of her, uh, unless I get her stat increasing perks, but... Um, if I had to think about the challenge, there are certain strategies that you cannot do. Um, I kind of also made a modification to the challenge, if that's alright. It makes it harder, because uh, otherwise there are loop- uh, I'm not gonna say I'm the most experienced in this game, but there are obviously uh, ways that you can kind of make loopholes. And for myself, I'm not gonna force anyone else to do it this way. Um, again, if you're doing it this challenge yourself, or if anyone wants to do any other challenges, if something's not inside the rules, don't feel free to not, you know, if a character isn't specified for a challenge, don't feel that you must always do random character if that's what you want. It's your house rules. In my, my personal house rules for myself are to pick a random character, randomized um, backstories. In this case, I pick character-specific perks, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, how well it goes, but those are my house rules for myself. Mermaid's Coma Festival Hell Botanist. Also to note in this challenge as I choose mermaids, yes, is that I cannot get damage from brick, and if I had painting I can't use chainsaw as effectively because obviously with chainsaw or any other good weapon where you're concentrating on always, um, where you're always concentrating on, you, you probably don't want to prep attack with those weapons. You want to just do 8 attacks, even if that's 70% accuracy. Um, that means you get a lot, you, you pro with the chainsaw, you'll probably just kill most enemies with 4 attacks out of 8 that hit. And then uh, for bricks, unfortunately, I can't, this means that I can't do brick throwing because otherwise that, I think, I feel like that personally that's a loophole for me. Uh, if you're asking, if part if a, one of the challenges rules is always prep before attacks, then therefore I don't want to make a loophole where throw, I get throw damage, or use a spell to kill something immediately, or say use the vampire heart to, or the mummified heart to kill vampires, things of that nature. Of course, I will still at least allow myself to escape from encounters, I don't want to close myself too much, but again, if I'm to, if I'm to think about things I could do, and uh, if I were to say make an extreme version of this challenge, which I've done for challenges before, uh, I would uh, prevent myself from escaping. So a bit of kathak with a thotu, but also um, in a thotu or uh, kathak, sorry, you can use the pocket knife. I would also ban. Basically, I would make a rule that says can't use any escape action. You cannot escape by any means, basically, and that may include boss encounters, but. Again, that uh, obviously adds to the difficulty. When you're making a challenge, it's all about trying to balance these things out. Um, however, in this case, uh, I just want to burn things down because there's no way I'm going to be able to uh, fight this guy. As when most of the time when I run into uh, Mermaid's first mystery, third, second, fourth, myth, fifth mystery, you might be better prepared. But I can't. <laughs> so. That said, I do have burn, so I actually don't want to take festival immediately. What I do want to do is immediately drink this bottle of water, and we'll find out where we go next. Hell, coma, because although escaping might seem like a loophole in itself, there's a real cost to escaping. It's the doom that you get. Hell, botanist, coma. Uh, let's do hell then. Also, I should be removing curses. I don't know why I'm not. Some of these are really not good for me. And uh, just as I said, well, actually, let's... Oh, no, no, that's fine. Uh, burns, that's a, in, that's an injury. Let's get rid of this, because, as I just said, uh, I might be running from certain enemies. That's just, it just really hurts. Yes, I'm on the Scar's backstory, but it still hurts to receive a lot of damage. Especially with burns, which I'm pr planning to go get rid of with the school nurse. And I'll probably, might as well pop in here and get some painkillers. Um, 
the more efficient use would be to wait till you get an injury because you might not need the stamina immediately, but the trade-off is uh, if you die to stamina before you get the painkillers, then it doesn't matter. That's, again, I'm trying to balance these all out in my head, and I'm not even the best at trying to remember things here and there. I could also get this gun, but um, because if I prep before every attack, that counts for uh, shots as well, but usually you're prepping before shots, but however, since Brick is a pretty good prep attack weapon, in my opinion, um, I may not be able to do it for- I think you need 5 dexterity? Well, I'm gonna find out, but, um, yeah, we're- the Brick- I, I feel pretty comfortable with the Brick, otherwise I might have gotten the gun, but what do I have knowledge? Well, it rolled a 12. Also, yeah, the- the rolling in events is going to hurt me as well, but that's still more RNG, because RNG could be really good. So most of the strategy in this challenge comes from, uh... And yes, I have the Scar's backstory, so that might help me out, because that fights against the Atotu... To... <sighs> that was the wrong way. Uh, we can pop the Painkiller. Well, no, we'll wait. Because we can at least do Desperate Action if we see it, unless we're about to lose stamina here. But... Uh, this is reason, so, okay, yeah. So, for dexterity, I can do prep attack, prep attack. Brick is the perfect, uh, weapon for this, in this case. Also, since I get bonus damage, but, uh, yeah. Also, I cannot, I need, need to remind myself that I can't throw anything for damage, because that, I ban myself from doing that. Again, uh, that's a modification to the challenge that, uh, uh, to the request, but I hope that's fine, because it ultimately makes the challenge harder. Otherwise, I'd just be getting a bunch of bricks and throwing them at enemies, and that's more an average run for me. Anywho. So, uh, I'm probably gonna grab this. Ayaka perks are pretty no-brainer to, uh, take. Um, there's no reason almost to never take an Ayaka perk because they help her out due to her own, uh, her own passive of getting, um, thingies. Getting curses thingies. I'm going crazy. But, yeah, we'll find out because I could just end up dying immediately to events. But, again, that's part of the, uh, I, that's not entirely... In Inder uh, are not related to me if I somehow were to um, lose the run because it is, you know, you make different decisions and you act differently in investigations um, based on the weapon you have, and so you're not sure if you have enough uh, resources to survive encounters when you're hat forced to prep attack from attack. Again, these are the things going through my head. Uh, I'm not the best strategist. Chess is not one of the strong. It's not something I would ever choose to play myself. Also, I need to do onsen here because that's more stamina, but. Um, and I don't need reason, because my max reason is at 9 right now, but, uh, yeah, I can only do the best with what I've got. If you want other people who are good at World of War or other games, um, yeah, this is not the best place to go if you're looking for skill and or strategy and or things. But I can give you the experience of seeing a more, uh, uh, I guess more not as skilled player <laughs> trying to challenge themselves, uh, whether it's me, uh, whether it's someone else, but, you know. So again, uh, yeah, if you want to go look, if this, whether this is the request of the sum themselves, or you're someone watching this video at the moment, I think I can still do this, yeah. Uh, I might be able to break, nah, no, it's not worth it, it's not worth it. So, I'm gonna lose a bunch of stamina here. Actually, it was worth it. Maybe? Do I get... Nah, I think it was worth it. Well, it's too late now. So, what I was thinking was that I could brace prep attack, and then I desperation prep strong, maybe? But... It's too late now, so... Note that I also I have another... Was, is that another piece of pain... Uh, another... Uh, pa another painkiller, but... Anywho. <clears throat> Lost my train of thought. Oh, no, no, that's what I was gonna say is for the request or anyone watching this video, again, one last time, uh, I put it in the description below. It should be in the description. Otherwise, this is a reminder more to myself that uh, I have a list of challenges that I've gone through, and all of them I haven't completed either, but... Ooh, also, knowing this... I need to count this as well, so... Is it worth the Doom here? I really want the Hood, though. <sighs> it's not worth it. Yeah, it's not worth it. This I'm gonna count, um, because technically it's an attack, but because I can't do it, I'm just gonna run. Because that's gonna be too much d Doom damage. <clears throat> hopefully, and ho hopefully instead, Ayaka's, um... Ayaka's Curse Accumulation... I forgot my second encounter, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Ayaka's Curse Accumulation will help me out, again, with Doom FNG as well, helping out my... Um, <clears throat> maybe I should have taken stamina there, but helping out my resources, basically, so that I don't end up dying. Um, we're also going to drink this immediately, no reason not to. And I think my max reason is 8 now, but... Komo or are we going to do Botanist? I don't want to get stuck. I do have Branded, which... 
I think I should take off. I think that's going to do more damage to me doom wise uh, at this point in time. So I'm going to I'm going to remove that and then we'll move on uh, because I want I want to lower my doom as well. That said, let me take a quick look over here. Riots, plague, darkness, uh, school burn down, which I don't. Eh, anywho. So this is four stamina. I might not even want to take this. Uh, that's just going to be too much damage. So this is on Scar's backstory, by the way. So I would, I would definitely be dead here if nothing else. And I don't want to do that because that just, I get the same. Uh, again, for if you're starting from this video and you haven't watched a lot of my World of Horror videos, uh, the reason why Brace wouldn't have done as much for me there is I'm going to be getting, uh, I'm doing the same amount of damage per HP lost regardless. So. What I could do is equip this and run from combat a lot more, but this might seem like another loophole to the challenge, but that's why I talked about what I would do if, to make the challenge harder. Or you could also consider it part of the strategy as I proceed to lose reason here, but it's fine for now. This is an injury as well, which I do want to get rid of, but since I have the small candle, again, getting this, things like this, you can just consider it lucky, but I personally believe that, um, oh my goodness, I, I'll, I'll hold on to that so I have desperate action, but I personally believe that RNG is a legitimate skill in life, I mean, not skill, I'm sorry, it's, it's a factor that goes into not just video games, but your, um, your success in video games, I should say. It's not its not particularly a skill you can hone unless you believe in supernatural stuff, but I'm not, you know, I'm not that uh, superstitious. However, I do believe in the concept of luck and fortune in the way that, you know, especially if you're leaving things to an art random number generator in game. I forget which one. Oh, that's reason I'm dead here. That's more event knowledge. Although, Granted, if I had bricks, okay, so before I die, some reflection before I die, because I'm just going to end the video immediately right after, but um, again, if I weren't on this challenge, this challenge did end up killing me, because if I didn't wasn't on this challenge, I would just uh, hold on to a lot of bricks to throw, and then I would have lost less resources, which would be less reason. I could also, I could have also um, healed a lot more reason as well, if we're not talking more about the challenge, but again, I did die to this challenge. Maybe I'll try it again, but we'll see. So... Thanks for the request, and if anyone else has requests, feel free to shoot so shoot them down in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time. Wah!